Hey, I'm Emma Shorty from schoolofscratch.com and in this video I'll teach you how to do the crab scratch which sounds like this. The crab is a fader hand technique which produces sounds by running your fingers over the fader to cut the sound in sharply, like this. Each finger slides across the fader and snaps it open briefly to make a sound whilst the thumb acts like a spring. There are no real rules for what your dog wheel hand does and the most common placements of the crab technique are over the forwards and backwards dog wheel movements. There are a few different versions of the crab scratch. I'll show you a closed fader technique which uses three fingers, which creates a tight, choppy, stuttering sound. We start with the fader closed and end with it closed. Each finger movement makes one sharp sound. I recommend trying out the fader hand technique in isolation without a sample first of all, to get the hang of it and get a feel for the mechanics of how it works. Start by holding the fader between your thumb and index finger. Our finger provides light pressure to keep the fader closed. Next, lift your forefinger. The light pressure from your thumb will open the cross fader slightly. Next, snap your ring, middle and index fingers over the fader in a smooth and controlled manner like this. End with the fader closed and your index finger providing light pressure against the fader. We are now back to the starting position. You should hear three distinct clicks of the fader. The key with the crab scratch is not to be too forceful with the fader and instead to relax your hand as much as possible. It can be quite hard to perform slowly, so just dive in and give it a go and course correct as you get moving with it. If we scratch with the cross fader in the regular position, our thumb acts like a spring to keep the fader closed. Gently snap each of your fingers against the fader to open it for a split second. Our thumb provides a light pressure to push the fader closed after each finger snap we should hear three distinct fader clicks. Whichever cross fader style you scratch with, once you understand the fader hand technique and have tried it out a few times, it's time to use it with a sample. I find the easiest way to practice the fader hand movement with a sample when first starting out is to use a continuous sound or locked groove, which I have looped up here for this demonstration. This allows you to focus purely on producing clean sounds using your fader hand technique without thinking about controlling the jog wheel at the same time. Keep on practicing until you can hear those three sounds consistently. I'd recommend using headphones for this to cut out the physical fader clicks so you can really tell if the sounds you create are clean and crisp. Here it is in regular. If you do not have a continuous or lock groove sample, use the longest sound you have. I'm using R from the included scratch tools, pitched down to minus 8% to give me the maximum amount of sample time. Cue up the sample and hit play. Release the jog wheel to play the sample, then focus solely on performing the crab fader movement like this. Rewind the jog wheel and repeat. And now in regular. Once you are creating individual clean and crisp sounds, you can start to incorporate jog wheel control. The simplest way to do this is to perform a crab on the forward and reverse jog wheel movements like this. Start 
start with these simple jog wheel movements. You will get a much cleaner sound if you build up your speed gradually. It's really important to have good control over both your fader and jog wheel hands. Fast crabs with no control might look and maybe sound impressive to the untrained eye or ear and long term having a high level of control will be really beneficial to your scratch style and how clean your cuts are. Let's hear how it sounds over a beat. Now let's practice together over a beat. I'll do the crab scratch for four bars, then leave a gap for you to reply for four bars. You don't have to copy what I do exactly, and I encourage you to express your own rhythms in time with the beat using whichever samples you wish. up the crab scratch. My top tip is to practice the fader hand movement often, even when you are away from the mixer. I used to do this with my hand by my side when I was walking around to really get the movements locked into my muscle memory. To start with, you may find that you get muscle burn in your thumb, hand and arm, whilst you are building up your strength and muscle memory, which is completely normal. Stay as relaxed as possible and take breaks as you need to. If you'd like to dive in deeper with learning how to scratch, visit schoolofscratch.com and sign up for my complete How to Scratch course.